The first poppy level in history. I've never seen it happen. Could happen for the first time ever. Let's go! Right. Time to get serious. That's the first poppy level that's ever happened, ever. It is time to get serious. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some poppy poros. It's gonna be our next Meme tier deck for today. It's Meme Tier Monday. We are going to be playing some uh, Poppy with some Poros. And we got some new Poros in this latest expansion, including Poro Sled. I'm definitely very excited about Poro Sled. Whenever it attacks, you get an attacking random one cost Poro alongside with it. And hopefully, we can grow those Poros. We're going to be using Poro Snacks, Aurora Porealis to make more Poro Snacks, and have larger Poros. And then we'll also have Poppy that can, Poppy can grow all the Poros whenever it attacks. And Poppy can also grow Braum as well. So that's a kind of a cool combination with those as well. Two copies of Cataclysm is going to be our removal playing this over single combat because we, uh, if we attack with Poppy, we get that bonus. So we're, that's why we're doing that. Also attacking with Poro, said, Poro Sled, get the bonus as well. Um, and Fabled Poro grants random keywords. Sometimes one of those keywords will be Scout. And if we find something with Scout, we can use Cataclysm with the Scout and then get additional attack with everything else afterwards. So those are the reasons why we're playing Cataclysm over single combat. But we got a lot of early Poros. We got eight one-cost Poros in here. And then we'll have our Poro Herders draw in some more Poros. Sharp Sight and Troll Chant, so awesome combat tricks. And then go into the top end with Braum, Fable Poro, Poppy, and Poro Sled. So that's our deck, it's Poppy Poros. Let's go ahead and take it on over to normal because it's meme tier day. Just having some fun playing some Poros. We'll play five games and let's see how we do. Starting off against Draven Sion. Draven Sion's really good. Yeah, we can Poros next after the Poppy attack because with it being uh, burst speed like that, I kind of want to keep this. Hello. Kind of want to keep. Yeah, Poro Sled's cool. So, uh, we're gonna need Poppy to give some keywords. Why don't we use Heart of the Fluffed? It's just a little expensive. We, we can get Heart of the Fluffed from Aurora Porealis. Um, but it, it itself is just kind of a little expensive. Heart of the Fluff is really good when you have the Elusive Poro. It's great with Piltover and Zaun with the Elusive Poro. But without the Elusive Poro, it's not as good. So I'm actually thinking of just waiting here. Saving the two spell mana for Troll Chant. Next round we can Poppy, the following round we can like Protoporo plus Fabled Poro. But like basically if I would have played the Protoporo and you had another 2-2 attacker, then I wouldn't have the Troll Champ mana to protect Poppy. I have the best job. And that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's true with Overwhelm. Um Heart of the Fluffed also good with, with Mighty Poro, that's a good good call there. Let's go, Poppy. It's a lot of damage. These things hit so hard. So they could have played another Daring Poro, but chose not to. Lifesteal. These Boom Baboons are just awesome blockers. They're really awesome blockers. 
Let's play now Troll Chant here. Oh, I didn't Troll Chant last round, but I was planning on doing it here. New Poro bugged with Fabled Poro. Come on, Riot. Did we not get another keyword on that Poro? I didn't really see it. That, that's like right where my camera was. Yeah, I was surprised that they weren't spinning X. I also, like I was kind of expecting that. Now we're cooking. Every removal spell these days is slow. Nothing's fast anymore. Okay, so yeah, the new impact portal didn't, didn't get the new, new keyword. There's something messed up with some of these keywords. Like, Victor doesn't always get the keywords from Victor's champions, or from the spell now, the hex core upgrade spell. We almost got him. You know, it's, it's a risk. I definitely, you know, took the risky line of trying to race Sorry, instead of trying to be play the most defensive possible and try to save the most life as possible. But we're playing another poppy deck. Okay. All right, pretty good curve again. Like this time, like well, we have like a better curve than last time, but I think still just again keep. These kind of cards. I think we want to just have the troll chant available for later. Yeah, I mean, and that's fine. Like some some people just don't like playing in, in ranked. You know, some people want to, you know, don't like the the anxiety in ranked and stuff like that, and that's perfectly fine. Playing against the best decks and in uh, normal. I was saying that jokingly. Alright, we're going to have a decent amount of Poros. Let's keep Troll Chant and Sharp Sights available. We swim within the flows of magic. Brom. I guess we can do Brom stuff. I guess we can wait on Poppy. We kind of fill the board with some more Poros and then Fabled Poro. Well, Brom blocks that pretty well. Pretty well-ish. So we may want Come both on, Troll Chant and Sharp Sight. We'll kind of see what happens. Please control. You are safe with Brom. So right now that all looks good for us. If they have like eight twin disciplines, you know, we can have a sharp side and we'll be fine. Just if they have like multiple twin disciplines, it could be a little rough. Single combat, so that's gonna be six. That's that's game. There we go. <laughs> we made along the way. Got there. Yeah, I guess we were about to just basically blow up their whole board. And they were like, see ya. 
Yeah, these games are so much quicker than Shell Folk. Like, we'd be on, like, round five right now, Shell Folk, with these two games combined. Fizz Nami. All these cards are awesome. I guess I have to get rid of you. I guess we have to mulligan all this. Let's keep one Sharp Sight. But, like, Sharp Sight's amazing against Fizz Nami, because they're all elusives and stuff. But we need, like, some earlier blockers and stuff like that. Yes. Okay, I'm... No. I may have to just play this Poro Herder out, even though we don't get to draw a Poro. I think I probably do. Where did that one run off to? I can barely keep up. We got some Poro snacks, but no Poros. Currents keep you, my Gordo friend. Oh, uh, him and to you. I want to play Poppy. I, I shouldn't have played that troll chant that, or that uh, Poro Snacks. Because I, I should have Poppy with spell mana this round. I just know the heroes around here somewhere. I should have just um you know we would have wasted a spell mana, but I should have just wasted that spell mana. All right, there's a Poro. First Poro. I'm all in. <laughs> down, baby. Put me down, I say. All right, so plus two cost of the Cataclysm. So they know everything in hand. They pranked the other two cards they don't know about. That's that's one thing that's really nice about the pranks is that you just have all the information in the game so they know exactly what's going on. Ocean spill for you. Let the tide carry you. If only this Cataclysm still cost... Three mana. I could play that and a Fable Poro. Okay, so that is Nami's champion spell. So doing this Cataclysm first. I wish Poppy was just, like, attack three times, not, like, I've attacked with allies three times, because that's still zero for that Poppy level up. That Poppy level up is really difficult. Ride the surging tides. Okay. We still have our three mana. Basically just send everything in. We're gonna do some trading. They know, you know, they know about Troll Chance. But again, we just want more, more buffs. All their things are pretty big because of the Nami making these things for power. So that's Poppy's first attack with allies. With allies. I haven't played a Viego deck recently. Oh, uh, not not since the new newest expansion has come out. But yeah, Hydrovine is insane. Yeah, like that Hydrovine is the card that makes those Viego decks so good.
So it grants itself a keyword. Wait, why did it not get a keyword? It was supposed to. Keywords are... Keywords are bugged right now. All allied Poros. It's a Poro. It's supposed to get a keyword. And he even did like the little animation like it was going to get a keyword. So they're playing this Avatar of the Tides card, that every single one of these spells, they create a new spell. They cost three or less. Every spell that, every spell they play. Ooh, cooling strike. Went away. Create Trail of Evidence. <laughs> I guess the plus two cost is the only thing with spells. We may actually see a Poppy leveled for the first time ever. It could happen. The first Poppy level in history. I've never seen it happen. Could happen for the first time ever. Let's go! Right. Time to get serious. That's the first poppy level that's ever happened, ever. It is time to get serious. I'm not gonna grab a keg. Grabbing a keg just gives them a blocker. I don't wanna give them a blocker. They all have all these impacts. We got there! Level poppy! And we saw the fireworks. And that's it. That's GG's. I got lucky. You'll get me next time. Alright, Aurelia Azir. Aurelia Azir is awesome. Our deck is meme tier. This may not go so well for us. Okay, prediction started. Hey, what's up, Lonely Poro? The Yordle here with me. They're not so daring that they're gonna block. Cataclysm. Follow along, little ones. Okay, so this is actually... Oh no! I was going to say this has worked out really well for us, but now that sparring student is super big. I think I'm just kind of taking a lot of damage here. We're down to eight. Or we're taking eight. I think that's the best thing to do right here. I want to save my spell mana, save all these awesome spells... And we're going to go ahead and play this from. Where they fall, freedom grows. This is fun, yes.
Please work. Please work. No. Nothing ever works against this deck. And so basically I didn't want my 2-2 to trade with that Green Glade duo because we had that Green Glade duo on lock with Daring Poro. And so that's why I didn't attack with the 2-2. So Braum's taking 6 damage now with that Shape Stone. So that's the good news. So it's actually not that far away from leveling up. All right, 8 out of 14. They're not going to be able to level that up this round. 8 out of 14. And punch. Stand behind bro. More sharp, sharp sights. This is kind of looking like Homecoming. All right, they're tapped out. We're gonna go ahead and you know basically treat this as seeing combat. Get rid of this Aurelia. Yeah, so now we're gonna get a new three three. Down to one card. One card's not very many. We could maybe get there. So they know about the Brom, obviously, but they don't know about anything else. Razier. I'm going to just pass. We're going to use both Sharp Sight and Troll Chant, I think, right here. Remember this day. Arise. You are safe with Brom. <laughs> what have Poros done to you? I should put that on the Brom. I don't know why I didn't. I was thinking I was going to be putting on the Braum, but I was just like doing the math of like these sand soldiers hitting me. Okay. So as long as they don't have another blade dance thing, just go ahead and pass the round. All right, cool. But yeah, I should put that on the Braum. That, that two health, I don't know why I put it on the other thing. All right, so yeah, probably going, let's just lead with Tavern Keeper in case of blade dance. When rhythm takes place, no time for fear. Play dance like that. Rom's at eight, so close to leveled up. They are top decking like crazy. Man, they are top decking like crazy. Let's talk about your dad. I mean, I think we're dead, right? Because they get to just uh, they get to just play out wide. Like we have to hit life steal. Lifesteal. See, this is. Fable Poor is not giving itself a keyword. Oh, we hit Lifesteal. Why did they. Why did they even play that? Oh, 
Because now we get the other 3-3. Three, three. And now we like really good. See, this one gave itself a keyword. This one should have key two, two keywords. There's something bugged with the keywords right now. Okay. So now we need to block stuff and not die. Okay. You can block there, you can block there, you can block here, you can block there, you can block there. And that's us not dying. Yeah, keywords are bugged right now. Yeah, Victor's having that problem as well. Quit bugging my keywords. So yeah, this thing has scout, but I just want to open attack. I don't know why I'm attacking with that 2-2 into the 2-3 and 4-3. I guess I should not be attacking with that. Turn aside. You dare. I basically want to do want to do this. I want to make sure that we get to do that. And we should have this game won from here. I can't imagine we lose now. Yeah, hopefully it's fixed by Wednesday, so like in a couple of days. You know, hopefully they just do another patch update and fix the keyword stuff. We have leveled a champion. But that's only that's round start it does that? All right, can we still handle Aurelia? I must become the leader they need. Like, this is probably still really scary, actually. I thought we had this game, but now I'm not so sure. Still get to attack. Still gonna kill a bunch of stuff. Block with this Destin Poro because it's about to have three random keywords. Alright, what's it get? Destin Poro. Fearsome Spell Shield Overwhelm. Get him! Go Poros! Poros taking down Aurelia Azir. You're on the back foot. Well, you're on your last life. Yes. Yeah, Ruin Runner with Fearsome. All right, we got the victory. Zillion with Vandal City. There's not any predict in Vandal City as far as I know. Right, we're gonna keep the Herder and the Snacks. The cards that say 
Poro on them, even though the Poro sled said Poro. Yeah, Cyclone, yep, I stream every day. Not tomorrow, as you see, um, I have stuff to do tomorrow. I'm taking Harvey to the vet, getting a haircut, doing a lot of stuff around the house. So I am taking a day off tomorrow, but normally uh, stream every day at this time. There we go, now we can change the record. All right, three and one. So I usually take a day off like every other week or so, but um, yep, streaming every day. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Always chasing after this one. <laughs> So I'll have Poro Sled next round. Wow, they scared. They too scared. We don't have any like removal for Zillion if they just like play a bunch of time bombs, I don't think. That you make. I am worried about so this thing does have vulnerable. I think that's okay if they want to challenge it with anything. See what I've learned? I think that's okay with me. My work. Another Poro sled? Let's go! We are sledding. Oh no, they're playing Shell Folk? Shell Folk's so good. Destin Poro. Nope. Home card. I should have attacked with the 2 3 also. No, my 3 3 tough. Got destroyed. This is pretty nice though. Attack and put three threes into play, like three three tough, and that kind of stuff. Augment, yuck. Don't you kill my Poro Sled. That's rude. It, of course, has Vulnerable. They want to play another unit and then challenge it they can. Wow, they're really poking that Poro Sled with a stick. You'd think it's a sled, right? Like, so just poking a sled with a stick shouldn't do very much damage to the sled. Yeah, so that's that's their plan, right? Is predict with predict and choose time bomb and then they get to create another time bomb. So that's what they did. So they have another time bomb in hand. At least one time bomb. Quick attack now. Let's go, keeper. No time to waste. Remember, mindset planning is never wasted. Cause then I double snacks. Wanna see how it works? What now? At least we don't let Zillion level up. 
I can just play all these units next round anyway. Probably worth the double snacks. Get a little bit more damage in, put them down to two. So close. I'm not sure exactly what their plan's gonna be. That's gotta be a pretty good plan. With four Poro Snacks, unfortunately Poppy not doing a whole lot now after we cast four Poro Snacks. But every card they choose from a predict, they get to create an additional copy of. That's pretty nice. Alright, so they have a lot of those Otter Puss. They have another Otter Puss as well. We got a bunch of those. They have a lot of cards. I don't know what the plan is with all these cards, but they got a lot of cards. The shellfish is giving them tons of cards. And everything costs zero. Should I be playing all these impact things before attacking? That's kind of a good question. Like next round, am I gonna be open attacking? We're playing a bunch of impact. Do they have? Uh, I don't know. I think we'll play an impact over that thing. So this Poro right here has one health, it's gonna die from the time bomb, and whenever so whenever the time bomb happens, this one dies, and then we get the mighty Poro from the Braum. Why am I throwing away units? Just to get another impact, so we have two impact units. They just threw away a unit. And ask them why are they throwing away a unit instead of throwing away ancient preparations. What, theirs gets to be 5-5 five, five also? I thought it wasn't an exact copy. Why is theirs a, why is there a 5-5? Five, five? I don't... Yeah, but you get to spin a ton in this deck, don't you? Like, they're spinning, yeah, for Gro and Kahiri. Spin to win. Have you met my shield? So I'll take one of the five healths. Oh, right. I was putting in another Poro with the Poro Sled. Um, I guess I could have not attacked with, what, the Plucky Poro? I've seen it all. Same thing. The text out of this world. I guess I didn't have to attack with Braum. Yeah, I guess I just didn't have to attack with Braum. So, no, I don't, I don't know how they win. Um, they have to kill this 5-5 five, five tough, and also stop double impact, and also we have this Overwhelm. I guess if they have infinite, infinite predict... Yeah, I should put more impact out here. I should have just replaced like this thing with impact. Yeah, it's just infinite predicts, because all you have they just continue to hit scrying sands with their predicts, so they get to just keep casting scrying sands, then hit scrying sands. They can just do that infinitely.
Or if you miss that, you hit Feral Presence. Do they have like a quest of like cast X amount of cards? Well, you just keep on you keep on hitting like the same ones like out of the, you know, like in like in your deck. And then you create a copy of it, and then you play it again, and you hit you hit it again, and you play it again, and so on. Exact lethal. One damage there, one damage from this impact. Exact lethal. GG's, that's gonna be a four and one for Poppy Poros. So there we go, that was Poppy Poros. A good 4-1 record for the Poros. They did pretty well. I was very impressed with Poros Sled. And of course then, you know, we're just like growing our Poros like normal, um, getting them some different keywords. Plucky Poro was awesome with the tough, being able to block like sand soldiers and all sorts of stuff and stay alive and get larger. And yeah, like our, our little Poros did their thing. You know, Poppy was pretty good. You know, we, we won a couple of games with the help of Poppy. Um, especially against the Nami deck, we just used Poppy to attack a whole lot. We had Poppy plus plus the Cataclysm for like the first attack and then continued to attack after that. And we actually leveled up a Poppy. Probably the only person ever to level up a Poppy. <laughs> Probably. Um, but yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. So there we go. That was Poppy Poros. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, y'all know the drill. Hit that like button and leave those comments about the Poppy Poros. Got any suggestions for the deck or if you played it yourself, how's it going for you? Hopefully y'all are having fun with some Poros. All right, but that's going to be it here for Poppy Poros. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.